today we have a lunar moth caterpillar cocoon and we're going to cut it open, take a look inside as well as getting some photographs of it. I'll be showing you my setup so stick around for that. I'll start by cutting across the cocoon being very careful not to hurt the pupa inside. We do this so we can monitor the pupa and to make sure it's growing and healthy. The cocoon is made out of silk and is very robust. They make these to protect themselves from any dangers when they are in the wild. As this one is in captivity, the dangers have been removed so the cocoon is not needed. Lunar moths are quite easy to raise and are really good for beginners. They feed on various leaves and we raised ours on birch leaves as they were very easy for us to find. We've been raising moths for a few years now and cutting them open has always been one of my favourite parts. You should always be careful when you're cutting them open as we don't want to hurt the pupa. You can see the pupa start to wriggle around as I start to open it up. This stage is called the metamorphosis stage and it's very important for the transformation of the moth. If you want more information on the Lunar Moth, check out our other videos as we will be doing further updates on them. Have you ever seen this before? Have you ever seen a pupa before? Let me know in the comments. I just love the colours on this pupa, it reminds me of autumn. Once the moth hatches, it will live for around a week as it doesn't have a mouth. The sole purpose of the moth is to breed. Let's put him back into the silk and get a few photographs to document the different stages. Feel free to pause the video to see the equipment but I'll explain what I'll be using anyway. Uh, this is the setup we use to take most of our photographs. The camera is an Canon M50 Mark 1 paired with a Laura 65mm macro lens. The flash we're using is a Godox V350C paired with a Cygnus Tech diffuser. Uh, we got this diffuser from Australia as they don't make them locally. The blue background is one that I've just printed out. It's held in place by a tool called Soldering Helping Hands. And finally, the LED light which is on a small tripod. This is used for focusing. It's always important to take shots from different angles as you might get a more preferred composition. Let me know in the comments if you have a favourite moth. As you can see, this one is being a very good subject. the photos turned out. Uh, I edited them in Lightroom, uh, my settings are on the screen. And this is what the moth looks like when it actually hatches. Thanks for watching.